Hi everybody, Stephanie with Mama Bear Inc. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another card making video. Today we are going to be making this beautiful little note card with a brand new stamp set coming out in our Spring Occasions catalog called Beautiful You and our brand new watercolor pencils also coming out in the Spring Stamp. Spring Spring catalog. My goodness gracious. So, stay tuned. Let's get our made. everyone, Stephanie with Mama Bear Inc. Oh my gosh, it has been like forever since I did a video and I'm not even going to bore you with everything that's been going on and why it took so long for me to get back, but I'm here. And guess what? In what, two days, three days, um, the occasions catalog goes live and celebration is on and we've got all sorts of really cool stuff going on. And so today I am going to be sharing a card with you that I made with a new set from our spring occasions card. This is beautiful you and it comes in two boxes and there are some spectacular stamps in here. I honestly, when I first saw this in the catalog, didn't think I was even going to like it. And so I said, I'm not ordering that one. Um, and I happened to be uh, at my upline Mary's house and she said, oh no, that's going to be the biggest stamp set of the season. And so I went ahead and ordered it and she was right. I, I needed it. She was right. So we're going to make a card with uh, the beautiful you stamp set today. And what we are going to use, I am a big fan of the, ooh, let's turn it around right side up. I'm a big fan of the Stampin' Up! note card sets. This this is one of the best values out there. Um, you get 20 note cards and 20 envelopes in one pack, and I think these things are like six bucks in the annual catalog. You really cannot find a better value than these. Um, and they're just kind of fun to make up simple little cards. It's great to make really elaborate, huge cards sometimes, but how many of us really, I mean, when we need a card, we need a card like right now. And so these note cards are a fantastic option. So this is what I'm going to be using today are the note cards. And so I just have a white one here and these come pre-scored. So all you need to do is lay them down and burnish your fold. Yeah. See, see my bone folder? Look how grody that thing is. <laughs> I gotta clean that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our little note card. Now these guys measure five by three and a half, so make sure to cut your layers accordingly. And today we are going to be using a layer of basic black. And so the basic black piece is cut four and three quarters by three and a quarter, so we've got a quarter inch background. And we're also gonna be using some of Stampin' Up's watercolor paper. Uh, now, our watercolor paper is uh, really high quality watercolor paper. It comes in a package of five sheets and they are six by nine inches. So you can get quite a few uh, pieces to do little note cards and that type of thing out of one pack. Um, and this set actually is fantastic for doing little note card sets. So just just a little hint there. The other thing that we're going to be using today is brand new in the Spring Occasions catalog and these are our watercolor pencils and I have to tell you these are fantastic. Um, I have really expensive watercolor pencils that I've used prior um, and these work extremely well uh, and they work very well on the watercolor paper and too. So we're just going to make a very simple little card because, you know, I'm just getting back into this video thing. So I want to keep it simple so I don't take up all your time and drive myself insane. So we are going to stamp today. Now you've got a couple of options uh, when you're going to watercolor. We've got Stampin' Up's archival black ink pad. Uh, now you can watercolor on this when it's dry, but it does take a bit longer to dry. Uh, and we also have the Jet Black Stays On available to do watercoloring. And this dries quite a bit faster. So this is what I'm gonna use today. And I think I'm going to use the Dancer today just because I really kinda like that. She's so happy, she just looks very happy. And I like that. Okay, so let's find a good block for our Dancer to 
be mounted on and this is probably way too much I think this is a what is this this is an e-block um, way too much but um, yeah I'm just gonna use it because she fits and it's handy okay and so let's take our stays on ink here and get her inked up really well sorry if the camera's shaking one of the things that I was doing when I wasn't making videos was remodeling a house that my husband bought yeah I say my husband because I wasn't there okay so we're gonna ink her up really well and kind of put her down sort of I think right there that'll work and we're gonna do the little trick that we all learned from Don Griffith. Stephanie is awesome. Stephanie is awesome. Stephanie is totally awesome. Okay, so you give yourself a little pick-me-up talk, and when you pull it up, you have a beautiful image there. All right, so that's gonna take just a second to dry with the stays on, um, but really important because stays on does dry so quickly. Put it away because I will leave stuff out and some portion of my body will wind up in it. All right, so with the watercolor pencils, um, all of the colors that are included in this set are on the back, the back hand side, uh, the back side. And I think today we want to keep it happy. So we're going to use, should we use Pacific Point or Bermuda? Let's use Bermuda Bay and we'll make her dress melon mambo we just want to keep it really simple all right so where's bermuda bay let's see now yes here we go so you see on the pencils um you can see that the name of the color is written down here at the bottom so we're going to use bermuda bay and melon mambo is where whoa Okay, where's Melon Mambo? There we go. All right. So we have our two color pencils. Now, here's here's kind of the fun part um, of, of this whole thing. You don't have to color this image all the way, all right? So you just basically want to lay down a little bit of color. And I don't know. Can you guys see that very well? Let's try to move in. Ah, wrong way. All right, let's move in just a little bit. All right, can you see? That's a little bit better. Okay, so we're just gonna lay down a little bit of color, and I'm just kind of doing it around the edges here. And you wanna put your color in the area that you want to be darkest, okay? Because you're gonna be pulling it out from there. And um, so her hat is gonna be Bermuda Bay, and we're going to decide that this is a puddle that she's playing in. And so we're just going to color down here. Now, another thing with these pencils is they are, they are pretty high quality. I'm actually very impressed. And you don't have to press really hard um, because they do have kind of soft leads and, um, you know, you don't want to break them because... You know, who wants to spend all their time sharpening pencils? Okay, let's move on to Melon Mambo, and we're going to make her dress Melon Mambo here. And so, again, we're just going to lay down color off to one side. There we go. Well, that's not working very well. Let's go. So, remember, this is watercolor, so it's not like, it's not like anybody's going to see... Um, if you went too heavy in one area or you didn't color in the same direction or, you know, all of those problems that I usually have when I'm trying to use colored pencils. All right. Okay, so that's as much color as I'm going to put on there. Okay, next thing we need. We need our aqua painters. Um, and so these uh, I purchased, or of course you can purchase from Stampin' Up. These are aqua painters. They come in a pack of two. And there's a large, which has a 15 millimeter brush. So its brush is pretty thick and big, which is great when you want to do backgrounds or washes or something like that. Uh, and then we have the 12 millimeter size, which has a little bit more. It's more kind of precision, I guess. Haha, <laughs> good word. Nothing I do with watercolor is precision. Okay, and so I've got, um, if you live in an area like I do, where you've got some really, really hard water, and when I say we have hard water, I mean we have hard water. Even the people at 
the hardware store uh, when we went to go look at water softeners. When they tested our water, they were like, oh my God, you're drinking this, right? So if you don't drink it, um, chances are it's not going to react well with anything you use it on. Uh, so I just buy distilled water and that's what I put inside my aqua painter. And we don't want our aqua painter really wet. We just want it kind of damp and we're going to dip into where we colored and just move that color out across our paper nice and easy and I have found that if you don't mess with it too much if you just kind of if you just kind of do it messy um, which you know always works for me it tends to look better rather than me trying to get all pinpointed and precise with it um, which <laughs> if you know me you know that doesn't work very well for me. So um, we're just gonna kind of move the color around with the aqua painter and just until, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop messing with it because I'm just gonna mess it up. So I'm just kind of over here swirling off the blue color and we're gonna move right into the Melon Mambo on her dress and just kind of drag it across we just want to make sure that we get her whole dress and come down into the skirt area here and just sort of, I don't know, move it around. I Can you tell that I am not a painter? Because I am not a painter. So we're just moving the color around. And again, if you don't try too hard, it's still comes out looking pretty cool actually okay and so I've got some kind of like I guess little folds or pleats or something on her dress here that I want to put some kind of light color in so here's something really cool you can take your aqua painter direct to your pencil pick up some color and lay it down where you want it and you can do this if like one of the areas isn't dark enough or um, you just want a little bit more color somewhere you can just take your aqua painter direct to your pencil and darken up your your area that way all right so again I'm gonna stop messing with it I mess I mess it's what I do okay and I'm gonna kind of wipe this off and I'm thinking she's she's happy and so maybe I think she needs some sunshine and oh look we got a daffodil delight pencil right here and let's um let's give her some sunshine let's let's say the sunshine is coming from over here and it's just kind of shining down on her like this yeah see see how precise I am when I do this stuff all right and ha ha okay there we go we just gave her some sunshine and so really easy again I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit get some water going Okay, there we go. Because th with this we're going to do kind of more as a wash. And so we're just kind of moving the color around. Maybe it didn't get all of the blue off. Now, I don't want to take, I mean, you could blend it, I guess. But I don't want to take it into the blue because I don't want my sunshine to turn green. So, you know, because yellow and blue make green. I don't want to do that. So, I'm just kind of moving just kind of going over where I scribbled and now she's in the sunshine and that's all there is to my watercoloring so obviously you don't have to be a uh, accomplished watercolor artist um, to to get something um, that looks really nice with this with this stamp set in this whoa can't talk this stamp set in particular uh, and and Stampin' Up's watercolor pencils and again these are going to be available in just a couple of days in our spring catalog and I will have links to all of the products on my blog and a link to my blog down below the video so let's um, now we did use some water on this so we can set it aside and let it dry naturally or we can um, be really impatient and um, take it to our heat tool and get it 
dried. So we can finish up our stamping because I want us to do one more little thing right down here. Um, and then we'll get the card put together and we'll be done. So stand by. Okay, so that just took a couple of seconds with the heat tool. Um, you'll notice the paper is just a teeny bit warped, but we put water on it. So even if you'd set it just aside to dry naturally, it's going to be a little bit warped. Um, and so we'll just make sure that we use a lot of really good adhesive to put this thing together. In fact, I think we'll use some Fast Fuse. Um, fast Fuse? Wow, some days it's my nemesis and some days it's my best friend. It just depends on how we're working together. So, I, like I said, I have one more thing that I want to stamp on this. Um, and it's from the same stamp set, The Beautiful You. And I want to use this little celebrate right here because it looks like she's dancing and she's celebrating, right? So, let's get the little celebrate and what block should we use for this? Which one do we have handy? Okay, let's see. Will that, will that fit? Yeah, that'll fit. Okay, this is a B block. And so I'm basically just going to put this on my, um, let's see, so you can see it. I'm going to put it on my grid paper um, straight, and then I'm going to look at it and make sure it looks straight to me. And I'm going to squish it down. And then... Let's see, let's bring this girl back to our grid paper here. So she's on kind of a straight edge down here. And we'll get our, um, we'll get our, you know, we'll, just, we'll use our archival black and I'll show you that that's, um, that looks really nice too, actually. So we'll just ink it up really well. Okay, there we go. And now I'm just going to eyeball it and hopefully we get it fairly straight down here at the bottom and hey I didn't do too bad and I am NOT a straight stamper okay so close that up or I'll be covered in black ink okay so that is the front of our card all done didn't take but just a minute so let's flip her over and get a good amount of fuse on the back here so I'm just putting strips of fuse pretty close together because we do have that warping and then I'm going to turn her and do a little bit on the edges just because I don't want them to lift up and remember with fuse when you're coming down you want to flick and break that off okay so we have our basic black panel and this is just an eighth of an inch smaller and I got to stand up because lord knows I cannot center stuff to save my fool life all right hey we didn't do too bad there what do you know? What do you know? Oh, mom would be proud. Okay, so we've got that on the black and now we're gonna bring our note card back in and put her down on the note card. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of fuse on the back of this. This probably doesn't need fuse, but um, it's handy. And I'm a lazy stamper. All right. And I'm going to stand up again because, you know, I have the difficulty with centering. And lay that down like that. And our note card is done. Now, that took us, what, like five minutes to put this whole thing together? I mean, between the coloring and the stamping, um, our note card was already made. So this goes really, really quickly. You can, um, because there are so many images, um, or there's, there's three images, uh, there's even some little um, like watercolor brush strokes, I guess. So if you don't feel like using the pencils and watercoloring, you can actually just stamp out what looks like watercolor. Uh, and then just some fantastic sentiments in this whole set. And again, with the uh, Stampin' Up! note card sets, you do get 20 note cards in 20 envelopes. So you can make sets of these and put them together as gifts for family and friends. I know Christmas just passed and we're all just like, oh my God, don't say the word gifts. Uh, but <laughs> there's always going to be occasions where we need to have gifts ready for family and friends or we need a card. We just, we need a card like right now. And this is a really easy one um, that just is absolutely beautiful that you can put together in no time flat. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you'll come back and see me. I do plan to stick around now. Take care. Thank you.